G'day and welcome back to the garage in part two of Golgong or Bust. So last night I ventured off to my mate's place and uh, he's handy with a sewing machine. He's got a big industrial one. And we knocked up a insert for the roof of my beast because it's just timber slats at the moment. So there is rain forecast for the weekend and uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. So that's an old tarpaulin off a old ute. A little bit of patina on it. So we cut it up, sewed it up, and uh, I just got to get some press studs and a ceiling strip for the front and we'll install that. I've been going through my junk of wiper stuff and I'm going to put in a mechanical wiper because it's been lacking that. And I managed to score a big chunk of steel. We'll make some shock mounts for the back. I did take it for a spin last night and it's totally different. It's so much better to drive with them extra springs. But shock absorbers are a good idea. So we'll um, make that up, chuck that in today. But first I'll need to shoot up the street and get some supplies. Well I've just been driving around for the last two hours looking for press studs and um, last week's what I went to my trimmer mate's joint at uh, MU Plains and he said yeah he's got some and um, Bring, told me to bring my car down and we'll uh, we'll get it all installed in here. So yeah, after all that, I'm going to jump in the beast and uh, we'll stick this roof on. Known these guys for a while and they're kind of my go-to for any proper trimming I need done. Uh, this is their Model A Woody, their work truck. It's got the banger in it, it's pretty original. They've had it all trimmed and stuff, of course. It's a shame they won't be at Golgong, but um, yeah, it's a nice beast. that three more to do just here and uh, it's awesome when you got the right tools I'm telling you fantastic that turned out a treat I'm really happy with that see what it's like in the drive I really appreciate these guys letting me use their facility today and um, if you want some serious no BS good quality motor trimming try any auto trim at any planes fantastic well see how that makes it different to drive all sealed up like that, but it's very cool. I've got nowhere near as much work as I wanted to get done at this point of the day today. But that's a job that needed to be done and wanted to do for a long time. But look what I scored off John. He gave me his uh, original seat from his um, Woody. So the trim on is perfect. They just done their own because they're motor trimmers. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and fit this into mine. I don't know if I'll do it before Golgong because those 
seats I've got in there now are fantastic. They just don't look the part compared to what this would look like. Anyway, let's get on with the uh, shockies. Tell you what, it wouldn't be a whole lot of effort to make that seat frame fit that new seat. Mm. I might have a crack, I don't know. It's comfy. Well, I couldn't resist on making the frame fit those cushions. Um, I'm going to resist the temptation of putting it in for now uh, for a couple of reasons. One of them, I think the timber needs to be covered as well with the black vinyl and uh, that gap in the bottom. I want to put something in there as well. So I'll stick with the plan at the moment, but when I come back, that's definitely going in the coop. I love it, it's really cool. It's actually really comfortable too. So right now, that's in my living room. I'm gonna watch telly with it tonight. And uh, this chair is actually really comfortable. It's a little bit too comfortable. It's playing with my mind, I wanna put it in, but I wanna trim the rest of it. YouTube. <laughs> 